I know what you're probably thinking. Ross, are you really that stupid? And the answer is probably, but not in this case. The tire on the 77 here is mounted backwards. This happens to be my 77. And the reason being is that I sold this rim off of the tractor and I mounted the guy's tire on and it seemed like it was just easier to mount it with it on the tractor. So what it amounts to is he had a 77, which you'll probably see later in this video. And he called and he said, something's wrong. And what was wrong was his rim had rotted in two. And so he was looking around and I gave him some options of what we could do. And I decided to sell him this rim because if you can see, it is not a mate to the other side. And what happened was when I was a uh, kid and bought this tractor, the rim was beyond saving. And I got the local tire shop to find me something that would fit and they couldn't find one the same width as the original so what i've ended up doing is i'm selling him this one which is a 12 inch wide rim and i'm going to buy a pair back for my tractor because if you look at this other one it is not got long left either it's starting to rot out pretty bad around the valve stem and if i remember right i think i've already had it off once years ago and done something to it but i don't remember what that was or if that was but anyway we'll find that out later on when my rims get here and uh, so hopefully later today i can get this guy back in business and my tractor will be up on blocks for a while while i'm waiting on my rims to come in the mail so we'll see where we get here in a little bit so like i said before this is the other guy's tire mounted on the rim that was on my tractor and we're gonna go ahead and take this off and go put it on his tractor. So we gotta get, I got a few of the clamps off already, but we gotta get those off, which shouldn't be a big deal because I have had them off and put new bolts in it at different times. So I'll try to set you down and we'll get the rest of these off. So if you notice while I was taking that off, I had to use a wrench on the backside because when I put this back on this tractor, I didn't have the correct bolts and they look like this. You can get them from Corvez Oliver and they come in two different lengths, but they got this square head and then they fit in the recess in the rim, if you can see that. And then you can just do it with one wrench on the outside because the rim the cast will hold the head from turning and they come in two different lengths so you need to look at your casting number this is one of the two long ones i've got both sizes on hand now but uh, if you look at your wheel centers well here it is right here this is an l series casting l705b and they make another one 
and I think the other one is the thicker one. I can't remember what, uh, I think it starts with an M part number. But anyway, they're a little bit thicker, heavier cast center. So then you need the longer bolt, which is what this one is. But uh, I got the right ones now, plenty of them on hand, so I can do several tractors. So we'll go over to his tractor and put it together. Well, here we are at location X, getting ready to put the wheel back on our pretty good original 77 with wide front. I was over here the other day and got the old rim off and ended up having to heat every bolt to get it out of the cast. And we should be about ready to put it back on with our new tire and rim that we mounted up while ago. So I'll try to set you down and we'll get started. Okay, so we got this on, and I like to go around and 
try to get them all tightened up evenly. Don't do any one more than another, just so you try to get the wheel on somewhat straight. And then I'm gonna go through and check them with this uh, breaker bar by hand, just to make sure that I've got them tight. And then I think we'll call it good. So I'll go ahead and do that. Take the jack out and all that, and we should be in good shape. Well, I ran around and re made sure that they were all tight by hand. And before I let it down, I was just gonna spin it and try to let you see how st straight it's tracking, which you may or may not be able to tell on camera, but it looks pretty good. So that's why you need to take your care in going around the wheel one at a time and trying to get them all even because that will get you the best results. And when you tighten them, don't tighten them too much because I have broke them off already, but that's just the way it is. But uh, anyway, I think it turned out pretty good. So we will let it back down on the ground and he should be back in business. Don't, please remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more Oliver and White videos. And we'll see you in the next one.